So, listening comprehension. There are three parts of the test. Oh, hey, crazy people out there, how are you? I didn't even know that you were there. <laughs> hello, hello, crazy people out there. I'm Rika Sudora and welcome to a new video. So I'm seeing that first of everything else, I'm seeing this channel growing and growing in a very recent way and I'm so happy I want to say thank you to everyone out there who is subscribing, who's leaving a like, a subscription or a comment. I'm so happy for it and I hope to continue this. I hope to reach the thousand subscribers by the middle of April and I hope that we will make it. I'm hoping I never thought that we're even gonna reach the hundred subscribers now we are 500 subscribers and I'm so thankful for it I want to thank everyone I made a video a few time ago I actually two videos ago <laughs> I made a video two videos ago and it was about the school system that is a failure if you haven't watched the video the school system that is a failure Go make, check it out to watch it and then come back to this video because you're gonna relate to We're it. We're today gonna talk about the opposite things. Things that I liked when I was in school. Yeah, crazy people, I not just hate school. I had a lot of things that I liked too. And of course the first video was a little bit of hate video against the school. But it, it's just not just hate, you know. You spent there part of your life and you gotta love it for some reason. The reasons. most thing that I missed about school are the incredible memories that I have. The incredible memories of my classmates, the teachers, the memories itself. I performed on school, we had a stage and you know the whole team thing and everyone was there to support you and of course there are classes who are not like that but in my case I had an especially the last one I had an incredible team I had incredible class I had incredible teachers and the trips that we made the laughs that we laughed uh, the pictures that and we took I have incredible memories of that Speaking time. of incredible memories, let's talk about the good teachers. There weren't just bad teachers like I said in my last video. Uh, there were good teachers too. We actually had a teacher, he was responsible for the whole class. It was my English teacher and he was so funny. He was a little bit older but he wants to be, you know, the cool kid and stuff like that. He was so funny. and. The lessons of him were never getting boring because you had to find always a way to make the class more interest and that's what a teacher should be, should be capturing the interest of the students and capturing while doing it and I was so happy in his class that I didn't even know the hours going. It was so un unbelievable. I and liked his lessons. I saying this, I found a lot of amazing friends when I was in school. Of course you will find a lot of fake people out there, you will find people who say who they will be staying to you and they will stay true to you and stuff like that but behind your back they're talking. But fortunately I found also amazing people it's out important, there, you know, big friends that you can take with, with you for the rest of your life. And uh, there are persons and people who are truly staying beside you and persons who are truly, you know, heading your back, you know, and those things I wouldn't found it if I wasn't school. Talking about the school system, what I liked about some classes or some years that I went on school was the the liberty of self-organization. And it was something that some teachers didn't want to but some of the teachers give us the opportunity to self-organization because it's so important to find yourself a way of you want to study the way of you want to organize yourself and it is so important because you will in the future life you will have to do it by your own you will not have a teacher saying you have to do it that at that hour at that moment you will not have it you know and that was so important in the following years especially the last three four years that I was in school I had the chance to self-organize me the teacher were like I'm giving you the class I'm putting everything on the board if you want to pass it to your paper it's up to you and that was so important because 
you know it gives me a feeling of I have to do something for myself I have to do something to accomplishment that so I can achieve that grade and I didn't got anyone saying or teacher saying to me you have to do it because you will not you will get tension or stuff like that and that gives a kid a little bit of freedom to organize itself a little bit of freedom to say I will do it in that way for example to do list I learned to do it by my own because the teacher will say okay on 15 of February you will have to send me that or 13 of March you will have to send me that and I was like okay I have to do that first and I have to do that first and I will you know have an organization on my mind and not everyone got that opportunity to do that so it's important and it's very you know I'm so thankful that I got the chance to have and it. last but not least was one of the main topics that you know was for me so important was the acceptance because I live in Germany as you guys know but my pe background is Portuguese that means I speak sometimes a different way I have a different temperament sure I'm more temperamental than a, for example a German kid I'm different I don't fit into the the mode I am you know I'm a little bit overweight and I'm different you know and what I liked about schools is that the acceptance acceptance because especially when I was in school we weren't very different nationalities in one we were Turkish people, Russian people, me Portuguese people, French people, Spanish pe people, Arab people, Balkan people, Bosnian, Croatia, a lot of different we peoples. Were, everyone was different, everyone was unique in their own way, everyone had their way of speaking, everyone was different and that was so important because you learn how to grow without having racism and that's a very big word I'm taking but it's so important because nowadays racism the word racism the following days are a topic who is very hard to deal a topic that it's hard to speak about and what I liked about school is that they give me the important that it don't matter where you came from. It don't matter if you came from the end of the world, of you or living nearby, of you even German. We are all humans. We are all gonna respect ourselves. We're gonna respect our countries, our culture, and everything what's behind it. And we're gonna respect ourselves. And that's one of the most important lessons that schools gave me. School gave me actually, and it's so important to love the the other one. It's so important to, you know doing the good in this world because I will not sound it like so deeply but how much time you know they will you have on earth how many how much how many times how how much time do you have when do you know you're gonna die for example when do you know how it's gonna be over and the last memory that you will have is to you know treat somebody inferiority because he's African or because he is Asian or because he looks is different. That, is that the last memory that you want to keep for the rest of your life? Is that the last thing? I don't think so and you you have to reflect and think about yourself and think about I am different also and I am not fitting to a personal thing and and that's so important nowadays and you have to keep it in mind because you don't know your tomorrow you don't know if you're gonna need that person for helping you someday and you don't know who you're gonna be tomorrow or you, who you was yesterday and it's so important to respect the respect is so important and I of course I had some struggle for being Portuguese too I had some struggle. I had also struggles with teachers while being Portuguese because they didn't accept me for that. But I know I am worth of it of anyone else. I know I am so much worth of it of I'm German, if I'm Portuguese, if I'm Arab, if I'm Asian, if I'm African. It doesn't mean I am human and we're all human. It doesn't mean if I'm black, white, uh, blue, pink, big, small, fat, skinny, it and doesn't matter. If there's something I want you guys to reflect about is to respect the other. 
respect the other because you don't know your tomorrow, you don't know your future, you don't know your net destiny and you will feel better with it. You will actually feel so much better when you accept your surrounding and not living with all the hate inside you. It's so important and that's the big message that I want to send to you. So this is the end of this video, crazy people out there. And I hope you like this video as much as I have. And make sure, like I said in the last point, respect yourself. And if you want to do me a favor, there's a red button down here. Subscribe! <laughs> Subscribe! Subscribe this channel if you want to see more things. I have more coffees in mind. And subscribe to this channel. You will not lose any of this video. We are reaching the 500 subscribers. And I'm so, 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 so thankful for it. I'm so thankful that I did, didn't even thought that we were going to reach the 100 subscribers. Now we have 500 crazy ones out there. And I'm hoping to reach 1,000 by the middle of April. And I hope you guys will help me doing it I hope I'm counting on you I know I can count on you and uh, if you like this video make sure you leave a like here here's the like button and if you have a suggestion of things that you liked in school make sure you leave it on the comment section below there down there there's a comment section and we'll see each other in the next video and au revoir